All right, so in this video, we're going to look at finding the equation of a line that passes through two points. So let's look at this example. Let's find the equation of this line that passes through the point negative 3, negative 2, and 3, 6. All right, well, to find the equation of a line, you need two things. You need the slope of the line, and you need a point on the line. Okay. Well, they don't give us the slope here, but they do give us two points that it passes through. So if you remember, to find the slope of a line passing through two points, we have this formula here. That the slope m is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So what we'll do here is we can call this point x1 y1 and this point x2 y2. Now it makes no difference which one you call which. You, we can call this one x1 y1 and this one x2 y2. It makes no difference. You just have to make sure that x1 and y1 are together and x2 and y2 are together. Okay. So if we, if we find the slope, well, that's y2, which is 6, minus y1, which is negative 2, over x2, which is 3, minus x1, which is negative 3. And so this is going to be 6 minus negative 2 is 8, 3 minus negative 3 is 6, and so that reduces to four-thirds. So that's our slope. Now to find the equation of a line, well we can use the point-slope form. We can use y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Okay, so there's our equation. This is, this is the point-slope form for the equation of a line. All right, so well I've got my slope m which is four-thirds and then I need a point x1 y1. Well there's x1 y1 but you know you can use this point if you want to. Okay, You can actually to whichever point you plug into the point slope form you can use this point or you can use this point. It makes no difference. You'll get the same answer either way. So, well, let's just use the point 3, 6. We don't have to deal with the negative signs in front of the numbers. And, and we might come down here and we'll work it with this one also. Okay, so we'll do it both ways. All right, so let's, well, since we're going to do it both ways, let's just use this point first. So I get y and then minus y1, so that's plus 2. Okay, remember, y minus, see, y minus negative 2. The negative and negative make a plus. That's where that comes from. Okay, Equals 4 thirds times x minus negative 3. Well minus negative 3 that's plus 3. Alright and then we'll take this and we'll solve it for y. Alright so first I'm going to distribute the 4 thirds. So y plus 2 equals 4 thirds x and then 4 thirds times 3 is 4. Remember 4 thirds times 3 over 1, the 3's cancel. Okay. And then I'm going to subtract 2 to both sides so I get y equals 4 thirds x plus 2. And there's my answer. Okay. Now let's work the same problem but using the other point. Let's use this point to plug in. So I'm going to plug this point into the point slope form. So I have y, I'm doing it in a different color. <clears throat> Let's do it in red. So I get y minus 6 equals the slope, which is 4 thirds, times x minus, and then we're going to use this x value. Okay. All right. So now let's solve. So I'm going to distribute the 4 thirds. So I get y minus 6 equals 
4 thirds x and then 4 thirds times negative 3 is minus 4 and then I'll add 6 to both sides and so I get y equals 4 thirds x plus 2 and there's my answer and you can see no matter which point you use for the point slope form you're going to get the same answer either way all right so I hope this helped give me a like share and subscribe and check out my other videos and thanks for watching